School-based crime prevention programs can be enormously effective, and I'll give you a few reasons why that is the case. Twas a dangerous cliff, as they freely confessed, though to walk near its crest was so pleasant, but over its terrible edge there had slipped a duke and full many a peasant. So the people said something would have to be done, but their projects did not at all tally. Some said, build a fence at the top of that cliff. Some, an ambulance down in the valley. This is the beginning of a poem that was written over a hundred years ago about prevention and how effective it is to prevent people from falling off of the cliff instead of just having an ambulance down in the valley. I'll share the rest of the poem with you at the end of the video. This video, incidentally, is sponsored by Nova Principles Foundation. I'm a member of the board of directors for Nova Principles. And to understand where I'm coming from with this, let me share with you some of the history around this particular program. About 15 years ago, the community where I live was using a school-based prevention program that focused primarily on substance abuse, drugs, alcohol, substances that can get kids into trouble or cause risk for other risky behaviors. And it didn't meet the needs of our community very well. So one of the police officers who was teaching this program in the schools was asked by the chief of police to develop a new program or to find a new program, he tried looking and he couldn't find one that met all of the criteria that the chief was looking for. And so he was tasked with developing this program. He and I had an association through another assignment where we had worked together on a couple of different projects. And so he approached me to help with the curriculum. The Nova Principles program was developed to address the needs of the kids in our community at a much higher level and in a much more comprehensive way. We understood from my experience in psychology that kids will make good decisions if they have the right principles installed in their thinking. A colleague of mine once said, every problem that we face is a problem with thinking. And I think this is true of risky behaviors that kids face. Risky behaviors like substance abuse or crime or delinquency or ungovernability. The things that we're trying to prevent could be best prevented if they were doing a different kind of thinking. Now a quick word about principle. Principles are natural laws like gravity. You never get up in the morning and think, oh, I wonder if gravity's on today. It is. Principles like gravity don't depend on our believing in them in order to be true or consistent. And I believe that principles determine all of life's outcomes. I know that's a bold statement, but just see if that might be true according to your own filters of truth. Principles determine all of life's outcomes. So the curriculum that we developed for a school-based crime prevention program has to do with principles around how kids and other human beings on the planet make their decisions. Here's an example. Study the situation. This is one of the principles that is used in this particular program. Study the situation means you look at the situation, you gather the data and the information, you do some thinking about that, and then you make your decision based on the outcome of studying the situation. What if a child has an opportunity, for example, to commit a crime with a group of peers? All right, the opportunity presents itself, that child now gets to study the situation and think through another NOVA principle, which is cause and effect. Every choice has a consequence. The better my choices, the better my consequences. So instead of simply telling kids, hey, don't do drugs, just say no, which was effective to an extent, but it left a lot of things lacking. Instead of just saying, don't do drugs. We're saying, hey, study the situation. 
think it through. What is the cause and effect relationship here? And then we also apply a moral development model. So I share that with you so that you'll have a little bit of context around what's effective. And we have research and clinical experience that supports the effectiveness of a principle-based, school-centered prevention program for all kinds of risky behaviors, including crime. Now you might be thinking at this point, okay, Dr. Paul, that sounds all well and good. We've got the support for this program as an effective way to combat the risky behaviors that our kids are facing. And you might be thinking, okay, well, how do I get involved in that? What is it that I can do? If you want to explore the possibility of bringing the NOVA Principles program into your school or community, you can contact NOVA through novaprinciples.com. There's a contact button there. It'll link you right into the staff of Nova Principles Foundation who can talk to you, answer your questions about how that's brought into your community. We typically do this through training police officers to teach the curriculum in the schools. So typically we need the cooperation of both the school and the police department for this to work really effectively. Sometimes we don't have everybody fully on board and there's still some ways to implement that. So contact Nova Principals directly. Let them know that you saw this video and that I sent, sent you their direction. And there's some great people who work with us there at Nova who can answer those questions and help you to figure out how to bring this into your community. You can also go to the website novaprinciples.com and make a donation. Nova Principles Foundation is a nonprofit entity that is committed to creating prevention programs for these kids. And the poem probably says it best. "'Twas a dangerous cliff, as they freely confessed, though to walk near its crest was so pleasant, but over its terrible edge there had slipped a duke and full many a peasant. So the people said something would have to be done, but their projects did not at all tally. Some said put a fence at the top of the cliff, some an ambulance down in the valley. But the cry for the ambulance carried the day, for it spread through the neighboring city. A fence may be useful or not, it is true, but each heart became full of pity for those who slipped over the dangerous cliff. And the dwellers in highway and alley gave pounds and gave pence, not to put up a fence, but an ambulance down in the valley. For the cliff is all right if you're careful, they said, and if folks even slip and are dropping, it isn't the slipping that hurts them so much as the shock down below when they're stopping. So day after day as these mishaps occurred, quick forth with those rescuers Sally to pick up the victims who fell off the cliff with their ambulance down in the valley. Then an old sage remarked, it's a marvel to me that people give far more attention to repairing results than to stopping the cause when they'd much better aim at prevention. Let us stop at its source, all this nonsense, cried he. Come neighbors and friends, let us rally. If the cliff we will fence, we might almost dispense with the ambulance down in the valley. Ah, he's a fanatic, the others rejoined. Dispense with the ambulance? Never. He'd dispense with all charities too if he could. No, no, we'll support them forever. Aren't we picking up folks just as fast as they fall? And would this man dictate to us, will he? Why would people of sense stop to put up a fence while the ambulance works in the valley? But the sensible few who are practical too will not bear with such nonsense much longer. They know that prevention is better than cure and their party will soon be the stronger. Encourage them then with your purse, voice, and pen. And while other philanthropists dally, they will scorn all pretense and put up a stout fence round that cliff that hangs over the valley. Better guide well the young than reclaim them when old, for the voice of true wisdom is calling. To rescue the fallen is good, but tis best to prevent other people from falling. Better close up the source of temptation and crime than deliver from dungeon or galley. Better put a strong fence at the top of the cliff than an ambulance down in the valley.
A big thank you to Nova Principles Foundation for sponsoring this episode of Live On Purpose TV. Please support Nova Principles by visiting novaprinciples.com where you can make a donation or you can connect with Nova Principles personnel who will help you to figure out how to get this powerful program into your school or community. Her head was down, face locked onto the phone. phone.